OK, thanks. Thanks, Yusuf. I presume everybody can see the PowerPoint uh, that I've got up with the economy. You can see that. I'll just move through. Yeah, is that OK? Yes, perfect. Yeah, you can see it. OK, so just to what I'll just do is I'll just take you through, um, first of all, the CMI and what the CMI is about. And then I'll talk more more specifically about the qualification. So the CMI um, is a um, a chartered organisation that that means that it's it's recognised as by the British government as being a legitimate association representing um, the interests of a particular group, a professional group. Um, very, very similar to to accountancy, lawyers, uh, legal services, that sort of thing. Um, it's it's slightly different to some of the institutes that that you that some institutes you do need to have um, to be a member to to practice as a lawyer or to act as a, an accountant. But as a manager, um, you don't need to be a, ma a member of the CMI to be a manager. However, more and more uh, when companies are looking for managers, particularly managers with practical experience, the CMI qualifications are becoming more important as a measure of the development of a manager um, within their current role and their progression through their career. So the CMI is essentially a, a group of managers and they work with managers in developing a number of areas, one of one of which is qualifications and they run qualifications from, I think, level three, which is equivalent to final year of high school. Right up to level eight, which is essentially equivalent to a master's. And uh, we're going to be talking about level five and level five is equivalent to the second year of a three year British degree program. So that's essentially uh, where we are. So it's it sort of lands halfway between the range of qualifications a CMI have. Now, the CMI does a number of things and it works in a number of ways. Obviously, one of the ways is it works as, as a, a membership community. Uh, it also, as because of the, 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 the qualifications that it develops, it has a, a certain amount of influence, its connections with industry, connections with government, uh, operates with the Higher Education Authority, um, the Department of um, Trade and Industry, um, as well as um, the, the education departments. And they follow the criteria laid down by higher education in terms of the way that their courses are structured, uh, the way that they use uh, learning outcomes, their assessment methods, all, all, all these sorts of things. So they do, they do a number of things. And recently the CMI has become more and more uh, popular and important, uh, partly because universities have been providing, C uh, British universities that is, have been providing CMI qualifications alongside their degree programmes, and partly because uh, of the, the mix and the range of universities nowadays, um, it's very difficult to judge the level of a university in the providence of a, of a degree. However, if you're looking at uh, a CMI, then then it's a very, very standardised course and a standardised level. So having a university degree and having alongside that a CMI qualification within the context of management is actually a very, very useful thing in terms of career and career development. OK, so. The. The level five, as I said, is is very much the, the halfway between the range of qualifications that the um, the CMI offer and the uh, I suppose the level eight is pretty close to a sort of MBA level in, in, what, in what is required, though not the range of, of courses. Um, the level five 
is a second year degree, as I mentioned, but it's not an academic qualification in the sense of though you may use academic uh, approaches in terms of referencing academic models, uh, leadership models, training models, those sorts of things, motivation, whatever, they are very uh, they are very much focused on the practicality. So it's the application of knowledge as much as the, uh, the, the, the collection of knowledge. So in terms of the assessment that you're asked to do, it's always focused on you and as a manager and your role as a manager, not about theoretical questions about management theory and uh, the, 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 the comparison of different, different academic models. It's much more practical than that. In terms of this qualification, it's very much focused on moving managers into reasonably senior positions. So it may well be that you're you have um, you're looking at those people who are responsible for a number of teams or a large team and you want to move into a much more um, overarching managerial position. It also might be that you are in a small business and you may have to take on a number of managerial roles within the business. So this particular qualification is, is focused in those sorts of areas and, and those sorts of uh, people who are uh, interested in developing their career um, slightly further into a slightly more senior roles. Now, in terms of the way that the course is structured, it revolves around, if I could get this right, seven uh, units. And in total, the units uh, are essentially 370 hours, which is a, is a year. It will take you pretty much a year, anything between 10 and 12 months to complete. Each unit is approximately 10 weeks of work. Um, you can do it quicker than that, but uh, it's not advised. It, it's, it's not something that you can rush through. Um, you need to go through the, the the material, and when you're when you're working on the assignment, you have, you have a, to have a reasonably good understanding of the content. Um, as it as you can see there, we this this is a reasonably standard route that this, the CMI has. This is the their main route, and uh, it's covering a, a, a reasonably wide n number of areas. We've got the, the principles of management and leadership, which is the sort of keystone course, which covers a lot of the other courses in terms of content. And it's quite uh, it's quite a, a good one to start with. We, we, we always start with this one because it, it feeds into other areas of the course as well. So a lot of the content is, is um, replicated elsewhere. Um, Pretty standard stuff, stakeholder management, managing teams, motivation, project management, uh, managing ch a change, operational uh, plans, and then managing finance. Uh, managing finance, don't get too worried about that. It is essentially focused on, and this is not my area of expertise, but it's mainly focused on, on balance sheets, uh, budgeting, and profit and loss, and basically how you construct the very, very basic uh, financial information that, that that managers use okay so that is the 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 way that the course is designed as i said it's it's about a year's worth we work through the modules uh two at a time and therefore we're looking at around about three months so you start off with with two the, fir the first two to start off with then you get another two and then you're given a final three um, be, um because the the um the operational one is is a slightly more sort of projecty type of um, uh, um, module rather than sort of uh, content driven one. In terms of the assessment, the assessment is part one piece of written work, and it's in the form of a report. Normally, in a report, the purpose of the, or the structure of how the 
Chartered Institute work, as with, with most um, practical based qualifications, is there are a number of learning outcomes. Normally, there are three that are subsidized into sub, subdivided into three or four subsections, which are known as assessment criteria. And each assignment addresses all the aspects of the learning outcomes and the as assessment criteria. So you're required to pass each of the learning outcomes. Uh, to to get an overall part and the way that the. The assignments and are, are, are structured is that they will be linked to an assessment criteria. Um, they're not they're not directly linked in the sense of they're not replicating the assessment criteria. So you would you would get something like um, uh, an assessment criteria learning outcome that says something like um, um, understand being able to understand or explain motivational models. So and then you will get an assignment which will say uh, present three motivational models that you use as a manager with your team. So that would be that would be the task. So they're linked together, but but the, the task sometimes is is far more specific in terms of the, the the what they're requiring you to do than the assessment outcomes. The CMI is only interested in pass or what they call refer um, and you get to. You get two attempts, though so, uh, it's very rare after the 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 you essentially have a draft and then once you've done the draft you get you'll get feedback on the assignment and then you will sort of liaise with your tutor to make sure that it's polished uh, to, to an extent where it, it, it's going to pass um, and then basically it's given a pass or a pass or you go back and do it again uh, we as a training company give give a, a added a diploma which is based on on your performance overall which is Pass merit and distinction, um, but the CMI you simply have a parcel or parcel or refer um, because it's learning outcome based. Uh, that essentially is oh yeah, that's essentially how it works. So um, what do you get? What do we give you? Then the resources. Well, there is a workbook for each unit. This is produced by um, the CMI themselves, so that basically has all the content you need. You also have access to Management Direct, which has uh, quite a lot of information. However, um, it's not it's not archived very well. Um, there are issues about um, accessing the information, and it's a bit of a labyrinth, to be honest with you. So, what we've done in the learning environment is that we have. Uh, excuse me, I just need to. I forgot something. <laughs> What we do is we've created a um, learning environment that links the workbook with a number of visual aids, essentially videos that that we've identified the content. So rather than having just to read through the the workbook, which is you know very dry and it's not particularly interesting, uh, what we've done in the learning about uh, environment is to replicate a lot of what's in the workbook and intersperse that with uh, the activities that are in, in the workbook, but also with videos representing some of the content. Some of it is, you know, just very short uh, videos that we found somebody explaining what, I don't know, Porter's five forces are um, or, or what a SWOT analysis is. Other times it may be a theorist like, I don't know, Belvin or, or somebody like that talking about a, you know, Herzog, or, or McGregor talking about X, X, Y factors, talking about their own theories and their own and, and how they come up with their theories and what their theories are, are about. So sometimes we, we try to get um, if there are videos available of the actual people who, who created these theories, then we try to put them in. Otherwise, they're relatively short, well produced um, videos uh, just explaining the theory. Um, that, that, that you're working through or. An idea, sometimes there'll be something about what's the difference between a limited company and a and a, a sole a sole trader and a partnership and we have videos on that. Sometimes it will be um, 
explaining about how uh, stakeholder management works and, and how you how you communicate with different stakeholders. So there's all sorts of videos that we 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 put in there. Uh, and it also works in a pathway. So you work through it in a, a very linear way. So so and that follows the, the handbook that you that you'll be given. And then finally, you have access to a tutor uh, who will help you um, mainly with your assignment. So they will give you advice on the assignment and the draft assignment and give you feedback relating to uh, areas that you you may need to work on to get your your assignment up to to a pass. So that's essentially how uh, the CMI works, how the qualification is organized and how we have developed the the um, learning pathway for this particular um, level five uh, qualification.